back again. Continue on with Sasan. Um, I'm gonna take each individual follower and see what their eh, if there's anything that they need help with. Um, just to be, uh, well, PSA, um, if you're using follower frameworks, um, you know, like mods to manage your followers, just, if you're using really in, intelligent or very complicated followers like Ori or Inigo or any of these, um, make sure to at least kick them out of the framework, um, if you want to continue on with their, like, personal stories. So a lot of times it'll hide their dialogue, so our, I had Ori in multiple follower frameworks, and it did hide, like, one of her options. But just to let you know, just kind of a PSA. But I'll take each one, an individual, kick them out of the, mul the, the uh, multiple follower framework, and put them in the regular follower slot, and then go through the request, and then, yeah, try it that way. Okay, so we'll start with Ori. How can I help? So, um, I like to ask you about Bosmer culture. Go ahead. That was the option I didn't have before when she was in the multiple follower framework. Um, is it true that you eat your enemies? It is. It's called the meat mandate, and it's part of the Green Pact. It dictates that a fallen enemy must be eaten within three days of a battle. Okay. Um, that's a lot to take in. Uh, I'd like to ask you a little more about it. Go ahead. Um, what's the Green Pact? It's the agreement my people made with Ifre. In return for her protection and blessing, we swore to never eat or harm any plant life or vegetation. Alright, tell me more about Ifre. Ask away. Ifrei, the storyteller, the god of song, the forest and the now. She taught the birds to sing and gave the rivers their tinkling, ethereal tune. There is a story about Ifrei that my mother told me when I was very young. When we're somewhere safe, perhaps I could tell it to you. Okay. I'd like to ask you a little more. I will try my best to answer. Do you really eat all your enemies? <laughs> With the amount of murdering you and I do on a daily basis, it gets difficult to honor that particular part of the mandate. But I make an effort to devour at least a part of every foe I slay, even if it's just the heart or the liver. I can only pray that pleases Ifrei. Hmm. Alright. Go ahead. I mean, I just find it really weird, but other than that... Well, if you can't use... If you can't use wood, how do you build your houses? We don't. Our homes aren't as much built as they grow. The spinners sing to the trees, who coil their bark and leaves into cozy little pots. This is Ifrei's gift to us. Oh. That's quite convenient. Go ahead. Um, so I heard about this uh, disturbing ritual about replacing dead family members. Oh, you mean the morning was? Yes, what about it? I don't know, could you explain it to me exactly, in details? If a clan member is killed during a battle between two tribes, the family members of the deceased may take a member of the enemy tribe hostage. The hostage is then tortured for a time, and if they survive, they are accepted into the family with open arms, replacing the one who was killed. Yeah, I... You know, eating your enemies, I don't... It's not my really thing, but that that's kind of bad, Ori. I mean, think about the innocent victim there. Why? They become a beloved family member. They receive all the possessions and titles the deceased one has. And the family regains the beloved one. 
Yeah, but that's if they survive, and even then so, they have to go through, what, a lot of torture? Uh, no, uh, that's emotional damage, and how... Could you forgive that if that happened to you? Well, um... I uh, suppose you have a point. I don't know, it's just something we've always done. I can't imagine any different way to replace a family member. I mean, why replace them at all? Just mourn them and let them rest in peace and, you know, do that. Yes, I suppose you're right. Thank you. You've given me much to think about. Alright. Glad we could iron that out. But, uh... How can I help? Ask away. Um, there's a Bosmer in Riverwood that makes a living chopping wood. Is he a heretic? Hmm, technically he's not. The Green Pact only applies to plants in Valenwood, and so chopping wood in Skyrim is not a crime. That's not to say it's not absolutely disgusting, however. Feindel ought to be ashamed of himself. Hmm. How does he sleep at night? I will try my best to answer. Um, what was that animal you were riding on? Thistlefoot. He's an antelope. They're quite common in Greenshade. Horses are good mounts, but the terrain in Valenwood can be treacherous for uncertain hoofs. Thistlefoot moves through thick forest easily. He's a little more skittish than your average horse, but I trust him with my life. Go ahead. Um, if the Green Pact only applies to Valleywood, why are you following in Skyrim? Right. So in your opinion, I should just abandon everything I believe in on a technicality? Well, oh, it was a dumb sure. Push. Let me just gorge myself on plant matter. Just because I'm technically allowed to. Never mind the fact that it would probably make me sick. Excellent plan. I'll get right to it. Hmm. I was just asking, sorry. Sorry. Maybe I overreacted a little. It's just that the idea of eating plants disgusts me. And I really don't want to think about it. Gotcha. Ask away. Okay. Ifri Hello? See, what's wrong? You look a little down. I don't know. I suppose I'm feeling a little homesick. Don't get me wrong. Skyrim is really beautiful in its own way. But it's not Valenwood. Have you thought of returning home someday? I can't go home. Why not? I'd rather not get into that right now. Maybe I'll explain some other time. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Thank you for asking, but I don't know. I just really miss the lushness of the forest. The secret rivers and the sun through the leaves. <sighs> you know what? I think I got a perfect place for you. Follow me, Ori. Look at our map here. Nope, that's not the map. Let's look at our map here. There we go. That's the right emote. Sorry. There we go. Move it. Okay, right by the airship.
so about 1500 feet get there in no time flat we don't get interrupted. Here, please, I need help. Please, do you have a potion you can spare? <laughs> oh, that sucks. I don't know why uh, the, what is it? Death alternative is acting weird with Sasan. Do I? Well, I certainly have a freaking dragon sword. Yeah, I got a black soul gem. So it's not. Huh. Like it works for. Um, what's her name? Hopefully that fixes it. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. It's like, that's exactly why I have it, it's for dumb deaths like that. You know? Which is just lame. be protected but I didn't uh, I didn't use a rope chain to do that I just I yeah it's I flipped uh, I did the uh, what is it where you do the roll but the only thing is it like kind of exaggerates it when you go over a cliff it just like kind of throws you like accelerates you or whatever Not sure how much longer I can hold out here. you know it's like, Hello? like if I just did you that down to the ground. Oh, a tough bear. You all right? Thank Kinnereth for you, stranger. I'd almost given up hope of walking away from here. What are you doing out here? We tracked a bear to this den. Good coin for those pelts. We had the big sow cornered when they showed up. Three of them, out of nowhere. Spriggins. Niels went down before we even knew to run. Ari died just inside. I never even thought the things were real. I may have lost a drop or two of blood. Truth is, I'm not going anywhere like this. Ah, hurts to breathe. I know a spell that'll work. Give me one second. Thank you. Please hurry.
better. Thanks, friend. I wouldn't have lasted much longer without that. But now what? I can't just walk away. Not with my friend's bodies in there being torn apart by those beasts. I got it. Let me help you. No, um, don't be foolish. I'll do it. You'd really risk your life for a stranger's honor? Yes. Do I don't not even know what to there. say. Thank you, my friend. I'll wait here. Thank you. All right, Ori. Let's be prepared. Let's save. It's a shame, but it needs to be done, I suppose. Come on, let's get it over with. Actually, brought you here to relax, but it seems Skyrim can't even let us do that. See anyone? Death comes from you. I think it's clear. Yep, oops. Well, could be something in that tree. Let's investigate. Yep. That's one for me. Take a look at this. Hello? Would you like to talk about Balon Wood now? This place, it reminds me of my home within one of the great grad oaks. The light would slip through the cracks between the branches, like here. We used to lie on a bed of moss and watch the starlight. My young sister and I. Tell me more. I'm... I'm not ready to do that yet. Alright. You know what? I got another place. I'm not entirely sure this is the best spot for a chit-chat. <laughs> Ephraim's blessings. All right, let's go to the Elder Gleam. That would be in, well, actually, probably Windhelm's closer. Let's go to the airship and take it over. Windhelm. To 
2,000 feet. Got that. Elk just had his life saved for deer. Yeah, you know probably a good idea to. Not the same first person. <laughs> feels feels wrong. <laughs> you don't dash forward or anything. them one hit both of them
Osma who break the Green Pact are called apostates. In Valonwood, they're treated similarly to how the Thalmor treat Talos worshippers. Probably, uh, I don't know. I can't remember if that's a activated one or not. Whatever. Even the imps have dodge, wow. Dark water crossing. Well, we're here. gleam is very nice. I don't think we need this candle light anymore. There we go. Toggle a bull candle light. Gotta love it. The screw having to cast that stupid simple spell every 60 seconds over and over and over. Yeah, there's stability and this and that, but still, it's still annoying. Hello there, friend. Come to enjoy the sights and sounds of the street and the sunshine of the night. It's truly remarkable. Yeah, it's a nice place. That's an interesting looking person there. So worried. Here I am. Tell me more about your sister. It had been a dry summer. Most prey had moved north. And my sister and I had been hunting a royal stag for a few days. To feed our family. We spent the night in a tree just like this. Coiled safely in her branches. So we thought. Then what happened? Let's talk about something else. Okay. Um, I guess... We face blessings. I guess we could take you... I want to show you another place. Let's head to the airship. like blended in with the weapons rack. Uh let's see here. You know what? I don't even think you'd use Someday, it. I'm going to show you how to forest couple. Falkreath is perfect for it. I give you dust fang. How can I help? Your things are my things. Holy crap. How many bows you need? <laughs> you are like the queen of bows here. Seven? Got some good money. Uh... 
Freeze lesson. <laughs> Human flesh. Lovely. Nice. Carrying those, um... Here, I want to give you this. Got sword. anything fun for me? Oh, you know it. Here. Dust paint. Ephraim's blessings. That looks pretty good on you. Alright. Yeah, I'll sell that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, oh yeah. Might as well sell I crap. I really like a Colopius pet. Need something? A Colopius pet. What you got for Take stuff? a look. Good. Until next time. Might as well. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. That is true. Only a matter of time. Alright, give me uh, a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. Son needs to go over his maps. Make sure they're heading on the right course. The rain makes me want to get naked and dance in circles around the trees.
so pleased to see you. Need something? Yes? Hello, friend. to see you. Need something? All right, that. Sorry. Had to use the restroom. All right. So we were sailing to Ancestor Glade, which is going to be south, I believe. Over here -ish. Yeah. We will stop in Fall Creek. See how it's believable that you could be like on that airship and actually go into place because it's like high enough to where it, you know, fools you. you could seem like you're sailing. Exactly. They actually have airships that sail. I can't get it to work. Uh, I forget. That's the one I have is the Asteria Dwemer airship, but there's another one. And I forget what it's called, but it actually does fly. But I couldn't get well. I couldn't get it to work and the textures were like missing. So, but that was like me early modding. So I don't know, <laughs> you know, like it's hard to say like what I could do now, but I don't know. I'm so used to that Dwemer ship that, and it's so, I just like it. It's, it's compact enough to where you can get around pretty easily. So it's not huge, you know? If I want huge, I have my castle, you know. The sledge blood castle. Okay, so it's like below us here. I can just go. Bam! I can get away with that because every time I cast this spell, it gives me a five second slow fall effect kill myself. Otherwise I would you would kill yourself if you try to sling down there with these grappling hooks straight down. And what I'm using for that, I, for, I don't know what mod that is, but it has these useful spells and alteration. Maybe it is Odin or sounds like it's Odin. But you can like stack spells on top of spells using a res like a like a ritual spell, or you can, or it, it's either you can. It's like right when a battle starts, three spells will like light up on you. You can pick which ones that are self beneficial, and then another one, another like ritual alteration spell allows you to. What is it? Oh, it allows you to put little effects. There's like five different effects you can have on it. <laughs> One of them is slow fall. I'm like, well, every time I cast this grappling hook, I want five seconds of slow fall. Maybe it's ten seconds. I can't remember.
never been here before. I mean, Sheva's been here before, but not Sasan. Yeah, no clue the events that transpired here with Sheva and Serana. So, Ori, lovely place. Hmm. Ephraim's blessings. So, you want to finish that story about your sister and the hunting trip? My sister was, as I mentioned, very young. She wasn't very experienced and hadn't left the village before. And so, when we were swarmed by Hover in the night, she panicked. Did you save her? Yes, I did manage to save her, but at a great cost. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me show you one another place. Right next to the airship, too. Let's go back to the airship. They head outside. They go up to the airship. Sail on over near the lake. Just sailing around and visiting glades, getting into fights with assassins and whatever else is after us. It's actually been pretty peaceful. Just a few dragons we run across. One? I think it was one dragon. Okay, we could do that or let's look over here. Who needs flight? Flight's for freaking wizards. Did I say back there? Well, just in case. Yeah, predict predictive aiming on dragons is terrible. They move so fast. What is? What I think they are? What are they doing around here? Palmer invasion here.
That is annoying. I need to look into the... There's a way to disable... Here. Real quick, let me see if I can disable that. Manual. So configuration. PC. Would that be considered an animal? Okay, hopefully that works. Hopefully it's considered an animal. Won't keep prompting me to recruit him. So that's kind of annoying. Got him. Oh, come on, a rabbit. <laughs> really? Sorry for your loss, man. Ladies. Keep an eye to the sky. Rainy, hard for it's a little harder for them to see. Yeah, it's uh, based on weather conditions too. So rain or nighttime or. I was attacked. Yes, you were. Uh, what in my party? I'm trying to figure out what it's prompting me to... I hate that. What it... I don't know... Uh... Okay. some light in here.
Yes? Gotcha. How can I help? So, um... How did you save your sister that night? I fought the Hova with all my might. But there were too many of them. I shot three with my arrows, and four more would dig their razor-like claws into my sister's chest. There was blood everywhere, and I couldn't bear the thought of losing her. <sighs> that sounds terrible. You want to continue on? All right, let's go. Gotcha. All right, so the next one would be over here by Solitude. So blah, 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 they take the airship, blah, 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 blah and they arrive in Solitude. Save. Because why not? Yeah, and we're supposed to... I forgot about that, too. Sorry. I had to check on something. Um, yeah, and... I was actually... I need to go back to that hunter, too. I completely forgot him. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna help your buddies out. And then... I didn't tell him, like, update him that they're all dead. You know? But I got... I did get the bears, so... That's something. Saved his life. Check out this place. Oh, it looks well lit. You won't need this. In Valenwood. Yeah? Oh, sorry. Sorry to have cut you off. Oh, what's this? You're fishing, huh? What do you get killed by a rabbit? That's all it seems to be here is rabbits. Judging by the tracks, that's what I pretend to uh, uh, detect life and detect death, like spell is for him. Is like kind of like a ranger ability where he kind of looks at tracks and gets a sense. Yeah. Eh. Or maybe it's just that's how rangers do it. In Skyrim. I don't know. All right.
place is amazing. Yeah, I mean, would you? Would I have ever come here in a million years? If it wasn't for a uh, Ori dragging me over here. I prefer not to kill spiders. Yeah, they don't. They just kind of attack you. And, no, and it's survival of the fittest. Or survival. When you're trying to get attacked. <laughs> when you're trying to get attacked. When you are being attacked. <laughs> if you're trying to get attacked, you're probably an asshole. And deserve it. <laughs> Old wooden sword. Looks looks valuable, or not valuable, but um, looks like it might be. Important. Oh, this is amazing! What is this place again? Shadow Green Castle. Okay. How can I help? So, finish if you if you like. I took a piece of burning bone from our fireplace, and I swung at the hover with it. They scattered, screeching. But as I swung, I lost my grip on the torch, and it fell into the dry leaves below. It took the three things two days to get the fire under control. Hundreds of trees burned. And I heard their screaming within my mind every time I closed my eyes. I fled. I fled and I didn't look back. Oh. I could see why that's an issue. Bravo. That was enchanting. At your service. Ori? That's why I came to Skyrim. That's why I cannot return. Because although I miss my beautiful home, my kin, my family, dearly, there's nothing left for me there but regret. I broke the pact. I betrayed Ephraim. And so I'm condemned to fade into the darkness once I die. My name will be forgotten, erased, and my song will be forever silent. I don't think so. I think you have a new family, and I think you have new stories to tell and I think you'll become a legend um so how are you feeling better thank you 
I haven't talked about what happened in Malibu to anybody else. It feels like... It feels like a great weight has lifted. Look, what happened there wasn't your fault. You're just trying to save your sister. But I can understand with your culture being the way it is that what you did was like an equivalent of or at least what you feel like you did was the equivalent of a massacre, you know? Multiple people being killed, but it wasn't your fault. Animal or plant. Thank you. Thank you for understanding. But my people wouldn't see it the same way, I think. In their mind, my sister's death would probably have been a fair sacrifice in return for the safety of the forest. I would have done the same thing. People do crazy things for the ones they love, hmm? Do you miss her? Oh, more than anything. I imagine she hates my guts, though. Making her an accomplice to my crime. I'm... I'm very lucky to have you, yes? Nah, I think I'm lucky to have you. You really think so? <laughs> Well, let's get moving, shall we? We have worlds to save and bandits to eat and all that. Yeah. All the wind to slay. We've got all kinds of threats we have to face. So, um... Yes? Let's... Let's chat. This is not the time. Ask me again when we're somewhere safe. Gotcha. So we'll go to the airship. And they depart. After yes, they sir. do some business. Take a look. <laughs> Might as well, right? I guess, it, yeah, I mean, you know. Oh, don't sell that. A sack. Boom and boom and all right. Thanks, man. Good day. Good, good doing business. So I have to take a break. Give me one second. What do you need? Need something? <laughs> what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Good morning. All right, and back. Let's see if we can have a little dialogue here. Yes? So, wanna chat? Certainly. Okay. Uh, do you think your kin could forgive you? I don't know. The penalty for breaking the green pact is death. It's not something that's just forgiven. All right. Certainly. 
Tell me about your family. My father was a hunter, and my mother dabbled in priesthood. Both of them spent most of their time alone, so it was mostly me and my sister. What about you? What was your family like? Uh, my parents are good people. I miss them. Hope to see them again. They're from uh, Hammerfell. Do you visit them often? Well, not very often. They live in another province. Oh. Maybe someday we could travel to visit them together. That would be nice. Someone get on that Hammerfell expansion. Uh, <laughs> beyond Skyrim, Hammerfell. Which is basically, well, it's, probably, it's supposed to be, what, Elder Scrolls Six, but alright, whatever. Or at least that's the rumors. Alright, uh, let's chat. Certainly. Tell me a story. I'd love to. What would you like to hear about? Uh, tell me about Yifri. There is a story that my mother used to tell me when I was a child. I remember it well. Once, there was nothing but formlessness. The land held no shape. The trees did not harden into timber and bark. And the elves themselves shifted from form to form. This formlessness was called the ooze. The ooze? Go on. But Ifre took the ooze and ordered it. First, she told of the green, the forest, and all the plant life in it. She gave the green the power to shape itself as it willed, for it was her first tale. The elves were Ifre's second tale. As Ifre spun the story, the elves took the form they have today. Ifre gave them the power to tell stories, but warned them against trying to shape themselves or the green. Shifting and the destruction of the forest were forbidden. And then? Instead, Ifre commanded the wood elves to the green, so that they might ask the green to provide them with shelter and a safe passage. And as long as they respected the green, it would obey. This is called the Green Pact. Finally, Ifre told of all the beasts that crawl on the land, or swim in the rivers, or fly in the air. These, Ifre gave to the wood elves as food. They were to eat no plants, but consume only meat. Ifre also told that no wood elf who is struck down by another wood elf should be allowed to sink into the ground, but should instead be consumed like the beasts. This is called the meat mandate. Hmm. So what did Yifri do after telling the story? When the stories were told, Yifri saw that they had a pleasing shape, but some of the ooze remained. Yifri told a final tale then, and gave purpose to the ooze. Any wood elf that violated the green pact, either by shifting or by damaging the green, would be condemned. Condemned to return to the formlessness of the ooze. Their names would be scrubbed from the story Ifre is telling and replaced with silence. Certainly. Uh, tell me another story. I'd love to. What would you like to hear about? The Spinners. The spinners tell of spirits to whom this land belongs, and who belong to this land, if they belong to anything. They are our ancestors and our governors, our conscience when conscience fails, wisdom for foolish elves. We may pretend to live apart from them, but it is only a child's tale, made of childish dreams. Certainly. Tell me another story. I'd love to. What would you like to hear about? Tell me about the cleverness of the Bosma. In Morrowind, there was a nobleman by the name of Kelmeril Bryn, who had a very definitive view of how things should be done. Whenever he purchased a new slave, he had them whipped in the courtyard for one to three hours. Few slaves ever had to be whipped more than once. 
as the memory of their first day and the sight and sounds of other slaves' first days stayed with them throughout their lives. When Brin bought his first Bosma slave, he ordered his castellan to whip him only for one hour. The Bosma, which Brin had named Dob, seemed so much more delicate than his other slaves. He was clearly not suited for work in the fields, but looked presentable enough for domestic work. Go on. Dob did his work quietly and tolerably well. Brin occasionally had to correct him by refusing him food, but the punishment never needed to go further. Whenever guests arrived at the plantation, the sight of the exotic and elegant addition to Brin's household staff always impressed them. It was during this time that Brin decided to take advantage of Dob's skills in archery and ordered him to tutor his son, Wadelik. For the first few days, the master watched Wadelik and Dob to be certain that the slave knew how to teach. He was pleased to see the boy learn the grips and the different stances. A month later, when he came once more to check on his son's progress, he saw Dob guiding Wadilik to shoot his arrow up into the air, high above the targets. What nonsense is this? Brin snarled. What about accuracy? You haven't taught my son a single thing about marksmanship. Huh. Go on. Dob bowed humbly. Sedura, first Master Wadilik must become comfortable with the weapon before he need worry about accuracy. We learn this by watching the arrow arc in different winds. Brin's face turned purple with fury. I'm not a fool, he raged. I should have known not to trust a slave with my boy's education. The master grabbed Dob and shoved him toward the plantation house. Dob, head down, began the humble, shuffling walk he had learned in his domestic duties. Wadilik, tears streaming down his face, tried to follow. You stay and practice, roared his father. Try aiming at the target itself, not at the sky. You are not coming back into the house until you do it. The boy tearfully returned to practice, while Brin brought Dob into the courtyard and called for his whip. Dob suddenly broke away and scrambled to hide between some barrels in the center of the yard. Brin began to bring down the whip down on his exposed back again and again. Sounds terrible. Wadilik's miserable wail drifted from the courtyard. I can't, father. I can't hit it. Master Wadilik, Dob cried back as loud as he could his voice shaking with pain. Keep your left arm straight and aim slightly east. The wind has changed. Stop confusing my son, Brin screamed. You'll be in the sultry fields if I don't beat you to death first, like you deserve. As Brin's whip rained blows down upon Dob, Wadilik's arrow sailed high before coming down in a magnificent arc. Brin tasted the blood before he realized he'd been hit. Gingerly, he raised his hands and felt the arrowhead protruding out of the back of his neck. He looked at Dob crouching under a wagon and thought he saw a thin smile cross the slave's lips. Just for an instant before he died, Brin saw the face of an untamed wood elf on Dob. Bullseye, Master Wadilik, Dob crowd. <laughs> Clever. Trained him to shoot his own father. No, oh, it's fitting. You know, the slavery part and all. Let's chat. Certainly. Tell me another story. I'd love to. What would you like to hear about? Uh, tell me about the old bones. I, I know nothing about this. Many years before your time, and many well before mine, great creatures walked the surface of man. Where they came from, none could say. 
After a time, they faded and vanished, all gone away to the lost corners of the world. All save one. A great beast made entirely of bones did burrow a writhing path through the ground, named the destroyer by those who survived its passage. Though none could say where it went or what drove it, all knew the barren swaths of land in its wake. It is said the destroyer's coming could be felt as a calling of the sod a full day before its arrival. When it arrived in a place, the great beast would writhe about, shattering walls and toppling buildings. Cliffs would turn to slurry in the great quakes brought by its pursuit, and many a pod home burst beneath its bones. It did so until it found men or mer who could answer its question, for the destroyer would always question its victims. The oldest accounts of these questions were all variations on where can I find the old bones? The canniest of those asked would point in a direction deemed most expediently away from and least destructive to the remaining homes. As the destroyer searched, evidently in vain, its questions changed. As it neared the end of its rampage, it was known to ask, May I sleep here? It has been so long since I slept. The only one known to answer yes to this question was the tree thane of Falinesti, the walking city, knowing Falinesti would soon move on. From where it wintered in South Point, she convinced the destroyer to sleep in the bows of Arbafell, an orchard known for its abundance of bats. Here, the Ephra priesthood planted a blessed seed in the skull of the great beast as it slept. This seed soon grew into a sapling, the sapling into a great tree, and the great tree into the barrow bow. The bones have not stirred since. In the ages following the destroyer's final rest, ancient bones have sometimes been unearthed throughout Valenwood. Though silent, these remains are brought to Arbafell, now the bone orchard, in hopes that they will always remain so. This tradition has spread throughout Valenwood. Bosma far and wide have taken to burying the bones of their loved ones in the shade of the barrow bow. Here they believe Ifrey will grant his blessing, a final sleep for the lost. Sounds nice. Certainly. I'd love to. What would you like to hear about? Uh, tell me about the Sylvanar and the Green Lady. The hunter waits in the bows, clad only in leaves and shadow. She breathes as the wind shifts and listens. Her quarry's fear grows thicker than the canopy. A glance, a turn, and it breaks cover. Her eyes open. Footsteps. Muffled, beat softly through the green. Any other would lose the quarry to the vine-swept earth, yet the hunter does not waver. Over and through the forest goes the silent chase. Briefly, the hunter alights upon a branch. A quick pull from her water skin, and she's off again. A stream bubbles through the wood, and the quarry stops to drink. Claw leaves scabbard. Slick and shining, teeth bare with anticipation, she leaps. A sirocco of splashes, claw meets neck. The quarry relents. A moment more would see crimson intrude upon the stream's mouth. She licks her lips. Not this one. At the stream's edge stands a simple man. In his silhouette stands every woodsman hunter and guide. Every jackspur, every tree thane and spinner, every child and every elder stand with him, yet he stands alone. Her hunter's gaze meets his. She sees herself beside him too. 
She blushes. And so does he. My Selvina, she says at last. My green lady, he responds in turn. She lowers her claw and turns to the quarry. In stalking these woods, in keeping them free of terrors, I lose myself to the green. She helps the quarry to its feet. But I will always bring her back, says the Selvana. You have nothing to fear from us, child of the forest. So long as there is the green, we walk where you walk. The Selvana vanishes among vines. The green lady leaps for the bows. She watches the Bosma trudge out of the stream and continue through the forest. But she smiles, for the Bosma is no longer afraid. That was a good chat. Um... Certainly. One more. Before we uh, head back to the castle. Sing for me. Which song? Uh oh, she only knows Song of the Green. She might she might learn other songs. Hmm. Ephraim's blessings. Okay. How can I help? What's on your mind? I approve of your choice of attire. <laughs> Alright, that's good. So I will... So it seems like her quest is done, I think. <clears throat> so now... I will kick her out of All the right. party. Come find me if you change your mind. And then I will re-add her into the follower framework. Yeah, it does that. And then when I tr when I move, she'll actually, you know. Here I am. Put on the the better stuff. Okay. Yep, everything's pretty much yeah. So. Ephraim's blessing. Now it's kind of safe to put her in the follower framework because, you know, we got all our stuff done. It's not gonna block out any of her. Um, dialogue. And we can go through each follower like that. There's only like, I think there's only three more that have quests, but. Done a lot of the preliminary work to unlock them. Uh. Where is it? Main hall. Alright, and then they arrive back at the castle. So you can relax, Ori. And then the next one I want to try is Lucy. Follow me, Lucian. Stop waiting. Now he's falling. Yep, see, now she's in her normal attire. Oh, there he is. Speaking of which, I need to get you some robes. Everything alright? Start your training. Okay. Uh, I'm going to kick him out of the multiple follower framework. Just to make sure. It's best when you're doing quests with 
followers to put them this in the normal, normal especially style. smart ones like what this. What can I do for you, my friend? Just, it's really just in, like their personal quests. You want to get those out of the way. Um... Okay, so I gotta dismiss really? them, right? Yosh. Well, I suppose I have my money's worth. Come find me back in Fall Creek and change your mind. Okay. Back. Those fire arrows look rather exciting. Care to share? Sure. Uh... This is an old to Skyrim's staunch Really? Yosh. Imperials. Well, I suppose I've had my money's worth. Come find me back in Fall Creek. Yeah. Our hero, our hero, plays a warrior's heart. Good to see you. Hmm. On we go. Our hero, our hero, plays a warrior's heart. Good to see you. Really? You're sure? <laughs> well, I suppose I've had my money's worth. <sighs> Come find me back in Fall Creek if you change your mind. Hi! Try to dismiss him regularly. Really? You're sure? Well, I suppose oh. I'll find money's worth. Come find me back in Fall Creek if you change your mind. And thanks. How can I help you? That's how you do it. Yeah, sometimes between the two follower frameworks. I think I had him in both, too. Because he was working in both, but I, just to make sure, I want to clear him out of that one and just put him in the regular slot. Um, follow me. I need your help. You do? Hooray! Onward to more adventure. Excellent. Okay. Hello and then, um... Where do we want to start Let your training? Let me know training? if you need anything else. Come here. We should find an appropriate place to start your training. Ah, I know. Actually, save. Hmm. I have a barracks, don't I? This place is so big, I haven't even explored all of it. Living quarters, armory, ascension. What's the ascension hall? Kitchen, sanctuary, lair, stables. Barracks, training, and sparring pit. Oh, that's perfect. Hollow grove, crypts, and catacombs. Oh, coming soon. Yeah, this is like uh, Castles of War in progress. So there's some content that's not unlocked all the way. Ooh, look at this. What? Armory and living quarters, sparring, training dummies. Cool. And vendors. 
This is insane. Wait a minute. You guys aren't supposed to be here. Hmm. Yes. Check into that later. All right. Uh... Yeah, this is a good place. Let's do it. Greetings. So, let's start your training. You would? Now. All right, then. Where shall we start? Um. Wow. Let me show you how to take a hit. This sounds painful, but go on. Is this really necessary? <laughs> nice. Shall we continue? Already? I still haven't finished digesting our last lesson. Perhaps another time. Okay. Okay, so I guess this and is the way we go. Just something we kind of work on, maybe day by day. That's probably the arena down there. Greetings. Yeah. Okay. What's next? Just checking. Yeah, I'll definitely have to check out this place. Oh, that sucks. What was that about? <laughs> Jesus. Oh. It was like, it had to get me. That's fine. I saved, like, right before we went in that room, so. also have a variety in terms of appearance. Yes, boss? You, where shall we start? This sound... <laughs> Is this really necessary? <laughs> Already? I still haven't finished digesting our last lesson. Perhaps another time. Okay. Let's go. Cool. What do you need? Yeah. 
there's something that we can do with Zelda's. You're home! This one's a favorite. all right? A legend we What's all the plan? Cool, cool. He's already in deep ball. My pleasure. Sure. Cool. Our hero plays a warrior's heart. Follow me. Bring to our youth. Today's come and gone for the age. All right. So we're gonna take him to um, what do you Sleeping mean? Tree uh, or Sleeping Sap. This is an old Grove or something. I can't remember. But um. Yeah, because uh, he was interested in looking into that. So we'll see where that takes us. But uh, give me five minutes. I need a small break. Enjoy the festivities of Sledge Blood Castle. I always fuck up that pronunciation. <laughs> Sledge. That's, that's the best I got. All right. Be back. What do you need? This one's a favorite, a legend we all know and love. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. This one's a favorite of mine, a legend we all know and love. <laughs> so 
Some Tavani like to create three-dimensional art using magic. You may wonder why they don't simply just carve something to create the same effect. This one's a favorite of mine, a legend we all know and love. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. Excuse me. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors. The Imperials. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. Okay. This is an old Skyrim staunch but the MP Um Sleeping Tree Camp. Trying to remember where Wow. Look at all these places I've been to. And I haven't even I mean, like I said, there's so much of the content I haven't even done. Like I just scratched it. This is a scratching. Um sorry, one second. Right, 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 right. I know, I know it's near winter. So, I mean, white run. I always get those two confused. But, I'm trying to remember. Okay, I think I know. I think I know close enough to where it is. Cool. It's like here ish. Never should have come here. Yeah, yeah. The hiss demands your eyes. It's not battle board, by the way. Nothing of value was lost. 
it's an assassin. They're quite common. Mapala assassin. This is the other one. They like to clone themselves from people you would suspect would attack you, which is clever. <laughs> just took my sword and just chopped her head in two. Where are we going? It's clearing the way for you, lady. Giant tundra spider. You don't know what kind of dangers you're stepping into here. And you only have one bodyguard. And a cow, apparently. And a chicken? Wait, what's going on here? Check this out. What the hell is going on here? Storm Hole Farm. Get ready for anything. supposed to be in here oh but your farms on you're not supposed to be in here on your farm on fire okay I wonder if that's like um, I wonder what that is it's like a random bandit attack Right? Burn corpse. Waiting you with his head, Master E. Uh, machine translation, maybe. I'm waiting you with head, with his head. I'm waiting you. Another victim. Oh, that was 
for house tell Lonnie. I like that. So looks like a random bandit attack. Well, that's interesting. Skyrim's a dangerous place, man. That's why I have lots of guards guarding my homestead. My workstead. I got Lydia and two heavily armed, well, one heavily armed and a light scout. Who's good with a bow. And if they need backup, they got a Rorikstead to rely on the militia there. I don't want to mess with that. Why would I want to mess with that? Alright, we're going to speed up. 1500 feet. Aw, oh, man. I was trying to have a good time. down. It really wants me to shoot that rabbit. Clever bandits. Alright, just fauna. Nope, they weren't AL. Uh. Whoa, hold up. Necromancers, spiders, Jesus. Spider, another spider. There we go. Ah. I think it does everything. Not too far from it. This is it. Well, my friend, I don't think the giants are going to take too kindly to us being here. So, I hope you're ready. When facing you in combat, it must feel like fighting a very angry wall. 
Thank you. Save here. So, uh... Uh... Are you alright? I'm feeling slightly overwhelmed right now. How come? It's that tree. It speaks to me. Not like the hist. It is quieter, vague, unfocused. At the same time, my own history is restless, uncomfortable. It is projecting these emotions onto me. You won't understand. Well, I mean, what can what can we do? I need a moment to gather my thoughts. Let us leave the area for the time being. Unwanted sigh. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> well, I told the others to uh, trail us, the crew, so we can just signal for them. Go to the air. That's much better. What happened? I am not completely sure. That tree... It calls to me in a manner similar to the hist. The feeling is so ephemeral, I find it hard to put it to words. What I can gather is that the tree seems to be something similar to the hist. It's all wrong, though. The sap is purple, the tree looks dead. Mm. Seemingly no fruits grow from it. My own history seems greatly threatened by it. I'm not exactly sure why. It just made me feel like I need to get away. What should we do? I must speak with my sister. I must ask her what my history wants. Hmm. Wait, your sister's in Skyrim? No. Dikowo is back home in Thorn. She is much closer to my tribe's tree than anyone else in my family. Unlike most Agonians, my sister is able to communicate directly through the Hist bond we share. By that same token, she's able to speak directly with her history. She no doubt felt our tree's great discomfort. She should be able to tell me directly what it is my history wants. Should I give you some time alone, or...? Oh no. I don't believe my sister has spoken to our tree quite yet. I will simply strengthen my bond with my tree by drinking some hist sap, and Dikawa will speak to me when she can. In the meantime, we can continue on our journey. Okay. All right, let's see if I can ask him a question. See if anything else. Fire away. Uh, it's, yeah. Speak again another time. All right. the castle because there's really nothing we can do at this point
adjust that. There we go. Relax here. Uh, the only other person I can think of is Lucifer. show up. There he is. Hmm. You want to talk? Yes. Okay. What do you want? All right. Like I said, I have to teleport him and then say, let's go. How can I help? An enlightening conversation. What is it? Okay, so yeah. Can I ask you we something? We got some time. Why not? Ask away. I don't know my actual age, but I'd say I'm either 20 or 22. Do you have anything else you want to ask? All right, I already asked that. Okay, what now? This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. We pray to our youth today is come and gone. Yeah, I guess there's really nothing, yeah. I think we're all caught up on follower quests, so... We'll drive out the storm folks and the storm one we own. Hey there. He's got so many complicated followers that they, you know, they're like, if you added all their stuff together, that's like one DLC content, you know. <laughs> um, we'll stay here for a while. Uh, you can just stay here. Okay. And we fight all our lives, and when Sovereign Guard beckons, every one of us dies. All right. But this man is... So I think I will end it here for him, because he's caught up with all his pals. Yep. Sours and we'll see it white clean of the skirts of the sun in our hopes and our dreams. See you next time.